GS1 Portable Grinding Drill Machine Operating Introduction. Operating Preparation 1. Determine the drill material, then choose the proper grinding wheel, use CBN wheel for HSS material drills and SDC wheel for carbide material drills. 2. Please verify the voltage before operating. 3. Clean the machine firmly each time to maintain the machine durability. 4. Do not hold the drill shank while operating. It will affect the grinding result. 5. The grinding range of the machine is 2 mm to 30 mm. The angle range is from 118 degree to 135 degree. 6. When the grinding high spiral drills must increase the scale of the web diameter. The cutting lip must be parallel with the slot of the clamping nut. 7. When the grinding deep hole drills, please add the scale two times more than its diameter. If the drill gets shorter, then the scale must also be increased. E.g. A deep hole drill of 8 mm, adjust it to 16, then plus 1 or 2 scales to 17 or 18. If the drill gets shorter, then add 1 or 2 scales more. But always make sure the cutting lip is parallel with the slot of the clamping nut. The four steps for the operation of GS1 grinding drill machine. Step 1. Preparations before grinding. 1. Reset the scales of web diameter to zero. Turn it by clockwise to the bottom and then adjust to zero. 2. Determine the drill diameter. Choose the right size of collet. Put collet into collet chuck by a 45 degree angle. Then screw in a little bit by the clamping nut. Do not fully fasten. 3. Insert the drill through the collet chuck and push it in until the drill is out of the clamping nut about 5 mm. Do not fully fasten the collet chuck with clamping nut. Keep the drill is still able to be adjusted. 4. Please first verify the angle of the drill before operating. Use the hexagon tool to adjust the degree on the shelf. Step 2. Web Adjustment Shelf 1. Adjust the scale of web diameter according to the drill diameter. 2. Insert the chuck set into the web adjustment shelf. Then connect it tightly. Turn it right to the end. 3. Push the drill to the bottom and turn it right to the end. 4. Turn the chuck set right to the end and tightens it. 5. Turn the chuck set left to take it out gently. Make sure that the cutting lip of drill is parallel with the slot of clamping nut before grinding operation started. If it's not parallel, adjust it again. If the cutting lip is downward, must increase the scale of web diameter. If it's upward, please decrease the scale of web diameter. When the flute length of a drill becomes shorter, the web thickness of drill would become thicker. So when the length of a drill shortened, it needs to increase more scale of web diameter. Step 3. Cutting phase grinding. Turn the power switch on and wait about 10 seconds until the motor rotation is stable. Put the chuck set into the grinding shelf. The slot of clamping nut must fit with the two pins of the grinding shelf. Insert the drill gently into grinding shelf until reach the grinding slip. Grind the drill by moving left and right until the noise stops, and then turn to the other side. Grind the drill with the same way. Step 4. Web thinning. For grinding the center of drill and the web of drill, align the center part of the clamping nut slot with the positioning pin on the shelf. Then insert the chuck set into web thinning shelf and move left and right until the noise stops. After that, turn the chuck set to the other side and grind it by the same way until the noise stops. Please use the 0.1 or 0.3 metal shims to adjust the size of the web thinning. Machine Maintenance 
1. Before cleaning, please unplug the power cord and make sure the machine is cut off. 2. Disassemble the collet set after use and put them in order. 3. Use the air press gun to clean the scraps and dust out of all grinding shelves, the collet set and all accessories. 4. Use clean cloth and clean each contact port and all the accessories. Then put them back in order. Changing grinding wheel. 1. Before changing, please unplug the power cord and make sure the machine is cut off. 2. Loose the screws from the wheel cover and grinding wheel. Take off the wheel fan and the wheel. 3. Use clean clothes to clean the motor shaft and the contact face of the wheel. Then put back the new wheel and the wheel fan and the screw. 4. Close the wheel cover, fasten the screw. 